for me. Uh, I very specifically remember as a child at 12 years old being in vacation Bible school at Aldenville Baptist Church and uh, Pastor Reverend Gerlitz and that's when I accepted Christ into my life and so f for the remainder of my childhood and going through high school going through college and into my adult life I have always tried not always my best I guess but I've tried to to walk alongside the Lord because I do know that he is always present for me. When I look back on my life in the years that I've tried to be a disciple of Christ, I consider myself to be so fortunate because of the people that have been placed in my life. And I know that all of that is because of God's goodness and because he is the author of my life. I've been fortunate enough to be raised in a home with two Christian parents. And I was fortunate to be yoked with a husband who is a believer in Christ, also raised by Christian parents, and we've been entrusted with three of God's children, but in, in all of my relationships, um, I just have always been encircled with God's love. The people that surround me in my life have always shepherded me and pointed me in the right direction of looking to God and I've always known that that's who I follow that's who I need to follow I don't need to look any further than that and even though I do fall short on a daily basis I'm a sinner just like anybody else um I know that he has forgiven me of those sins and I can rest in his unconditional love it's amazing to look back on things that have happened and realize that God has a hand in all of it. Most recently, over the, the past year, facing um, some difficulties in my personal life, um, it's again just amazing how you can see God's goodness through even the hardest of times. Our family knew who was in control of that situation and I knew who was in control of that situation and now that we've come out the other side again it's just amazing to be able to look back and see how God is alive and somebody who still performs miracles on a very regular basis and it's so awesome to be able to be a part of that and to to know that truth in your heart in my heart and um to be able to share that goodness that reality with other people your favorite bible verse <laughs> the one that I keep on my bathroom here at home is Proverbs um, 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Him, for He will make your path straight. Why do you want to get baptized? I was dedicated as a baby, and even though I'm now an adult, I have never publicly made this proclamation. and. I felt that it was important to do so now. God is the author of my life, the ruler of my life, and I want everybody else to know that and realize that I have a love for him and that others can have that love too. Jamie.
confess that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. It's quite evident. Do you commit to follow him as a disciple of his as long as you live? Based on that profession of faith, it's my privilege and your husband's privilege to be able to baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried in the likeness of his death, grace to walk in your life.